So this is a 2.0 running on the Blackberry, on the playbook here. So we changed a lot of the user interface that's going on here. So you'll see there is this dock that runs at the top here. It stores your six most used uh, frequently apps. So you can take folders, activate it here, drop it on your dock, save it. And now anywhere that you scroll, these stay up here. So for your most used applications, whether it's Messenger, Calendars, all of those type of applications, you can store them at the top and access them there. Some of the other features for the UI, you do have the file folders now. So you see your productivity. You have a whole bunch of applications in there. Uh, we do have a gaming one, which is packed uh, here on the gaming side. There is no limit to how many applications go in those folders. So as you see, this one's pretty full. Uh, one of our programmers hasn't found the limit. He was like over 900 apps in one folder. So we'll go there. The next biggest thing on the Playbook 2.0 is the integrated messaging, calendar, and contacts. So in the messages, if we go into messages, this is going to go and connect to all of your accounts. So you might have a lot of social feeds, whether it's be Twitter, Facebook, whatever the and you might have also Gmails, Hotmails, work emails, Outlooks, best servers, whatever the case may be. So you come in here and you can load up all your accounts. This is a universal inbox. All your messages will come to this inbox. So here we have two accounts set up. And as you see, they're all connected. Here's some Twitter feeds and everything like that. Same thing, you can send to those right from this message uh, program. So you can send from your Twitter account to tweet on other people's. You can send from your Gmail, just as you can send to your work if you have the work email set up on it. Some of the other new features for the, for the messages also is you can compose multiple messages, emails at the same time. So we can go into here and say we want to compose a message. Now in rich text, so we can change colors, fonts, size, is bold, underline, whatever the case, type our email out here, connect to someone through our contacts, and then start to compose another one because we want to go and work on another one. So in this one, go work on someone else, and then say, well, we want to go back to the other message, and we'll go back to the other one. That's it, looking for the addresses. So that's really looking at the, the power of the messages, getting all your information there. Some people would say, well, I've got all those accounts set up, but I don't really want to see all my emails from my personal account on here. But they'll still connect the personal email account on there because your contacts, you want all merged to one source of contacts. So if we go and we open up the contacts, so the contacts here, now that you've set up all those accounts, Twitter, whatever, Hotmail, whatever, Gmail, it will pull all those contacts into one source. So here we have a contact, as you see, is a Twitter contact only. Uh, you might have other contacts here that uh, have certain things. You go to everyone, so you have all the contacts there. Other features that they've integrated is with your contacts is calendars and the messages too. So you might have a contact and say, well, what were my appointments with that contact? So you can come in here and see all the appointments that you've had with that contact. You can go to the past and see all that. Quick question. question. Yes. Be, does it take care of duplicates? Of the duplicate yeah, like contacts? What if one, one email account, a person is slightly different, you know, it's listed differently, but it's really the same person. Will it figure some of those out? No, it would have two contacts. It would have to be totally identical in the contacts for it to know that it's the same person. It normally updates the contacts with the same names and stuff. So you have that. You also have news feeds here. So it will go if this person is a LinkedIn contact of yours. So they have their um, corporate information, where they work and stuff. You can go into contacts, click news. It will go to the internet and search information about that company and show up that there's some news feeds about that company. And stuff. So those are the, those are the features of, uh, of the contacts. Of course, we have searching here. We're standard, uh, pretty standard on there, and sorting, etc. So that's the contacts. Now the calendar, which is the third largest upgrade on here. The calendar again takes all that data and merges it together. So you do have layers on the calendar. So again, you have a Gmail set up. You have an Outlook account set up. You all my email messages all together. As you see here, so there's two calendars right now layering on top of each other. So my Gmail one might be my family's calendar that everyone connects on Gmail, they have that feature, and I can see all my family contacts, and at the same time I have my playbook, which is my work one. You can remove them, and then you only see that calendar from that day, as you saw the calendar adjusted uh, going in there. Now a lot of people looking at it, and they say, you know, it's a really nice clean view, I can see easily, I can go by day here, and I can scroll down by day, I can also go by people. And you can see all the people that you interact with uh, during your calendar. Now, some
some notice that the numbers here are different sizes. So that was done on purpose. We have growing numbers. So growing numbers, what we mean is that but the amount of agenda appointments that you have, the number grows on the calendar. So here, for example, number 10, because I've got a couple of appointments. Now that feature was put in to allow you at a quick glance to see where you're busy, where you're not. So if someone calls you up and says, hey, Brian, on January 8th, when are you available? On the week of January 8th, you don't have to drill down into each one to see when you're available. You can see, hey, on the 8th, 9th, 13th, 14th, I have nothing, or any uh, part of the month. So those are really some of the great uh, core features of the calendar on the 2.0. Into some of the applications, so gaming, of course, we've got huge upgrades to the gaming coming in here. Angry Birds was released, so we all know about those. Um, we're demoing here the Cut the Rope and Plants vs. Zombies, so those were ported over from Android. They're not running on an Android emulator, they're running directly on the device, so they were ported over using the SDK package to uh, do it. So there's some fantastic games here. I don't know if you want to go into the demo of what a game is. So we'll go down to that. If we load up some productivity, let me show you this one. Because one, Looking for that folder. So productivity. So productivity, of course, one of our flagship programs that we work with is Documents to Go. So to edit all your Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents on your handhelds and also on the playbook. Now they've added this Print to Go. So what Print to Go is, if you're sitting at your desk and you're working on a Word document and you're typing away, but then you got to go to a meeting, you might want to bring that Word document with you. So on your computer, you can choose to Print to Go, and it will send the Word document to your playbook, and you'll have access. Uh, I believe it's in a PDF format, and you can view that. You can work on anything, and then you can see it on here. Bring it to your meeting, as we have over there. Hook up an HDMI, show it to everyone. So what you've been working on there. The other uh, good feature on uh, on Documents to Go, which is part of the Bridge 2.0 uh, program for your phones to connect them together, is the Open On feature. So the Open On feature, you might be on your phone typing away, and on there you get an Excel, but your screen on your phone is a little small to modify a whole Excel spreadsheet. So you can choose Menu, and you can say Open On, and it will send that Excel sheet to your playbook. Use the big screen here, edit it, save it, and you're done. So that's a really good feature of those two productivity there. So there's others on lifestyle. We can look at some really great uh, radio um, products. Music. So we do have uh, a couple of new Novex radios, been around for a while, Slacker Radio. Um, Vivo 2 is a, is a video uh, uh, software. We do have also the um, Blackberry Video Store. Fortunately, due to licensing, I can't videotape that, but we can show it to you after. Uh, for that and then you still have all your other standard features on that.